welcome back to lesson 9 and we're now in the last part of this uh, lesson we'll be having more examples okay so let's start let's have this our example number one uh, we have the function f of x equals 3x plus 1 all over 2x minus 1 and we are asked to find the derivative of the given function and the equation of the tangent line at x equals 0. Okay, so take note we're not anymore going to use the limit definition, but rather we are going to apply the basic differentiation rule. Okay, so for the derivative of the function, take note that we have a quotient. Okay, so since this is a rational function, so we're going to apply quotient rule. So we let u be our 3x plus 1. And let v be our 2x minus 1. Because we're going to apply this rule, we have the vdu minus u dv all over v squared. Okay, uh, quotient rule. So let's start. So our v is 2x minus 1, which is this. Okay. And this is u, 2x plus 1, u, d, d. Then we simply substitute. We have 2x minus 1, the derivative of 3x plus 1, minus 3x plus 1, the derivative of 2x minus 1. Derivative of 3x plus 1 is just 3. This is just 3. The derivative of this is just 3. While the derivative of 2x minus 1 is just 2. Okay, of course, do not forget v squared. Uh, most often times, uh, this is the reason why people get the got mistake in this portion. So we have b squared, which is 2x minus 1 quantity squared. So here, it's 3 and 2. Simplify further by distributing the uh, constant. So we have 6x minus 3 minus quantity of 6x plus 2. So take note, do not take out the grouping symbol yet if you have not distributed the constant okay so we have 6x minus 3 minus 6x minus 2 you can cancel out 6x here uh, my negative 3 minus 2 is just negative 5 all over so copy the denominator and this is the answer let's have b so we're asked to find the equation of the tangent line at x equals 0 so again we can apply our previous discussion here so but instead of uh, as you can see instead of using the limit definition uh, it's much easier to get the derivative by the way if you try to use the limit definition here it will uh, it will take time to solve this okay so for the tangent line we just need to know the value of y and the value of x so we solve for the point first and the point is 0 negative 1 so again in solving the point we simply substitute the value of x which is 0 to the function because remember f of x is y okay so that's the output so we have 0 negative 1 then we need to know the uh, slope of the tangent line and again the slope of the tangent line is just the derivative at that point okay, so we are we are going to use the derivative of the function this is the derivative of our function uh, we have solved a while ago okay so this so we substitute now the value of x which is zero and this will give us negative five then we are going to apply the point slope formula so the point slope formula we have now the value of x we have the value of y and we have the value of the slope we substitute those values and we will get uh, this simplify further we have y plus 1 equals negative 5x and then uh, we write this one in the general uh, form of the line or general equation of the line so we have 5x plus y plus 1 equals 0 so again we simply apply the property of equality and uh, have 5x here okay so that's the 
equation of the tangent line. Okay, so let's have another example. Let's have f of x equals the quantity of 3x cubed plus 2x plus 1 cubed. Find the derivative of the function and the slope of the normal line at x equals 1. Okay, so let's find the derivative first. Observing the given, okay, so we can see that this is actually the situation that we need to use chain rule. Okay, so we need to use chain rule here. So how do we know that we need to use chain rule? It's because of this inner function here. So basically we have an outer function and then we have an inner function which uh, tells us that we need to use chain rule because there is an existence of composite functions. Okay, so there is a function within a function. Okay, so getting the derivative of this first, we need to get the derivative of the outer function, which is the cube here. So, supposedly, this is our u. 3x cubed plus 2x plus 1 is u. So, we put the 3 down. Okay, put the 3 down, then minus 1 to the exponent. Then, we get the derivative of the inner function. Okay, so what is the derivative of the inner function? We'll have 9x squared because we have 3 times 3, which is 9, minus 1 in the exponent. And the derivative of 2x is simply 2. The derivative of 1 is 0. So that's why we have 9x squared plus 2. And then we arrange. So we arrange this one and then distribute 3. That's why we have 27x squared plus 6. Okay, so this is our final answer. So you don't need to expand anymore. Okay, so simplifying is actually making the uh, function uh, shorter as much as possible. Let's have another example. Okay, so we have f of x equals 2x minus 1 times the square root of 2x plus 1. Okay, so we're asked only to find the derivative. Now, take note that we have a product here. Okay, so it might not be obvious to you, but these are actually factors. So, 2x minus 1 and square root of 2x plus 1. Okay, but note, we can actually rewrite square root as an exponent, okay, with a fractional, uh, yeah, fractional exponent. So, square root of... Or, rather nth root of x to the power of m is equal to x to the power of m all over n okay so <clears throat> since this is product rule so we have the u dv plus v du okay so do not forget that product rule so we will let 2x minus 1 our first factor be u and the second one is 2x plus 1 Okay, so let's continue. So we have the derivative. So take note that we have written square root as a fractional exponent, 1 half. So this is the power of 1 half. Then we just substitute our u's and v's okay, in the formula. So over u is 2x minus 1, our v is 2x plus 1. So we have u dv, this is u dv plus v du okay so we have quantity of 2x minus 1 times the derivative of 2x plus 1 raised to the power of 1 half plus 2x quantity of 2x plus 1 raised to the power of 1 half times the derivative of 2x minus 1 of course with respect to x so we get the derivative of our 2x plus 1 our dv uh, raised to the power of 1 half, so 1 half goes down, so that's why it's here already, 1 half, then 1 half minus 1, okay? Uh, then, since this is actually, we try to observe, this is a function within a function. So, there is also an outer function, so there is actually a chain rule happening here. 
So the chain rule comes from the inner function which is 2x plus 1. So this is actually our inner function. Okay. Then of course the derivative of u is just 2x. So we have this equation here. Okay. Then we simplify further. We get the derivative of 2x plus 1 which is actually 2. Okay, so, and 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. So, the exponent here becomes negative 1 half. <coughs> so, this is the result. Okay, so we, we arrange. So, since this has a negative exponent, so we put it in the denominator to make the exponent positive. While here, we just interchange 2x and 2x plus 1 which is the power 1 half and then we transform the square roots okay so we, re we return the exponential fraction here to its radical notation so take note uh, 1 half to the power 1 half is actually square root so actually we can simplify further by multiplying it this side here, okay, by square root of 2x plus 1 all over square root of 2x plus 1, so that we'll have the same denominator, okay, so the goal here is to combine the terms, so combining the terms, uh, by the way, we, we multiplied square root of 2x plus 1 here, so the square root here cancels out. Okay, so that's why we have 2x plus 1 here. Okay, then we distribute 2x to our 2x plus 1. So we have 4x squared plus x here. Okay, then since they have the same de denominator, we can now combine. Okay, we combine. And then we simplify further. And this can be your answer. Okay, and course in case that you don't want to have a radical sign in the denominator so sometimes in the process uh, we get rid of the radical sign in the denominator there should be no radical sign in the denominator of course that is not the standard rule it's just uh, a practice in okay it can be it, this can be the final answer uh, or you really want to take up the radical signs we just uh, multiply the uh, multiply the expression with square root of 2x plus 1 all over square root of 2x plus 1 to cancel out the radical and we can have this answer also again either of these two can be the answers okay so that's all for lesson 9 uh, part 1 so thank you for watching and in the next lesson we'll be dealing with uh, differentiation rules also but with transcendental functions like for example trigonometric functions exponential functions uh, logarithmic functions and also the inverse trigonometric functions so see you in the next lessons bye bye